I, the Jokers, the Foxes. I didn't even know these two snakes. characters were in this game. Right? Here we are. Another Pokemon in Smash Bros? Two low tier heroes playing two degenerate characters. <laughs> I like how looking at like the match description for all the upcoming games, now it's a like has changed from just Joker to Joker with Bowser question mark. Yeah. <laughs> the low well, tiers are running this. That Bowser was just Then again Bowser's not low tier. I <laughs> I actually love that Bowser. It was a great Bowser. I actually like like DK is my main, but Bowser's my necessary main. It's true. So game one here going to F D. This feels pretty even, but I kind of like this from Magister because, like, Advo's going to one FD, duh, Dark Samus, but I feel like Magister's going to let him go to FD to kind of, like, coax out more projectiles, which means more revenges. But from what we've seen from Advo compared to a lot of other Dark Samuses, those projectiles aren't really just thrown out to take up space, so I don't think we're going to see I agree. the, re the revenge abuse come in as much. You gotta wonder, like, does you, you Master really know him or not? Because, like, he might not have watched Boz or something, or he might not know how he plays. Well, so. when, it, when it comes to a character like Samus, you have more of an opportunity to kind of feel out what's going on. Because Samus plays really non committal and kind of away from you, right? Versus a character that may have to get up more in Incineroar's face or may have to interact a little bit more in neutral. Yeah. So I didn't get punished for that, but that was awful. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really interested to see how this goes down. Because Advo is absolutely no slouch when it comes to just playing patient, making sure the projectiles have a purpose, yep. not throwing them out willy-nilly. Because the thing is, is if you're putting out a projectile, we talked about this a little bit earlier, you can know as much about the concept of zone control, but if you cannot like move beyond conceptualizing that yeah. and take advantage of all of your tools that you have at your disposal and making those accessories rather than tools, that's what's important. Your missile needs to exist so that you can hit fair. You know You're what I mean? You're completely right. I don't think he's got one revenge deck, and instead he's using it more to his advantage, which helps get him this first off. And Sam is traditionally kind of difficult to kill just because not only of her weight, but also just how hard it is to hit her. Yep. But Incineroar is not a character that's going to have that problem. Correct. Incineroar kills super duper early, even without revenge having some of the strongest grabs in the game. Yep. And not just that, but also having far-reaching smash attacks. You have the, the down smash, which is, that shouldn't exist at all. It sh it's <laughs> <laughs> and like, you have like that back air too, that's like super duper fast, really good at comboing. There's just so many ways to kill. And that's without the command grab with armor. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> like on top of everything else. Um, so something I've noticed so far here, throughout these couple stocks is that every time a Magister gets on the ledge, if he picks an, an option immediately, like he just like tries like the buffer, like a stand up or a roll or a double jump, he gets out of a save. But anytime he's gotten on the ledge and he hangs on for just a tiny bit, even like a good half second is all Advo needs to kind of start up like putting yeah. up his wall there. And every single time Magister stayed on there for that half second, Advo wins the exchange on the ledge every single time. See that charge shot right there was really interesting because while the whole concept of just keep my opponent as far away as possible, oh my gosh, and just keep them away because they're coming in, right? They got the momentum and they're about to swing because I have to go into either shield or just, I, I have to get away. Yeah. They put out that charge shot to put a wall, but it was way too early. And because of that, Magister was eventually able to close out that stock. Yep. Interesting. So, uh, a little interaction right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, he went, went for, the for it. Oh, he lived. Okay, cool. Yeah, one more hit connected there. That would have been a fight. <gasps> the revenge is on the table right now. Which is going to be a big damage, but not a kill quite yet, but... That was a 22% from an aerial. Yep. <gasps> not quite yet, but one more of those will spell it out, so... Voodoo, I'm sorry, so <laughs> Advo has to be careful. Oh, he just gave him... The, he just served him the pizza. I'm shocked that that killed at, like, 95. Like, I know it's strong. Now see, when Incineroar puts his hand out from the forward tilt, yeah. he's serving you the pizza. And like when he does it, the voice clip he does is like, mid-tier. Mid-tier. Like, yeah. Mid-tier. <laughs> exactly. Also, shout outs to like the freeze frame, just like with the down air. <laughs> and Incineroar like takes the win. He just looks so silly. 
Yeah, the, the Luigi F smash is also is yep. also the the pizza time. Pizza, yeah. Pizza time. Pizza time. All right, we are back to Adabo playing the worst color of Samus, <laughs> Dark Samus. Absolutely disgusting. We're also back to FD. You know, have we seen this matchup before in tournament? I'm pretty sure we saw this yesterday. Um, no, we've seen this Dark Samus color yesterday, but I don't think we saw this. No, I, I think we saw this matchup because I remember making the comment that Adabo had played a disgusting color of Dark Samus. And then I was like, Incineroar is also the ugliest color. And then I rescinded that sentence. I want to say these two played yesterday. What other Incineroars would there have been? There, there wasn't any. I'm pretty sure these two played yesterday. No, this is the winner's final. Neither of them have lost yet. Oh, it's, oh. No, I don't know. Maybe. maybe. I think we're just talking about costumes. We probably saw, like, Master and then Advo. Might have been a different Dark Samus. I don't know. But yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, this is. I, I wasn't even paying att to attention to where this was. Great job there at neutral. That was wonderful patience right there. It really was. Adavo is. It. Ooh, that's it. The air dodge. Adavo is running away with this game that right lead now. That's huge. Good combos. 33 BNB. Ooh, tried to get the up B. That was good just to try to cover in the rush that he knew was going on, but yeah. just slightly mistimed it. And right there, we saw the uh, missile was going to be just revenge bait. Yep, you have to be careful about that. Ignoring the grab right there. Yeah, up B is just so good for getting out of pressure. You have to be careful though, because especially at lower percent, so like we saw in the first half, even though it was great damage put on there, the fact that, you know, Incineroar is pretty heavy too. He can kind of get down there and punish like sometimes before time, like Dark Time is like out of like. Ooh. Like that, but. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What was that? Get out of here. Oh. I think he just faded out on that. I would not be surprised. I don't think there's any coming back from that, like, as dreading wise or percentage wise, anything. Like, that was all Advo's game. Let's see if we're going to see a different stage here. This time, it is. Magister's pick, going for Kalos. You know, similar stage. Kalos almost always works for Magister, and it blows my mind because you think, in theory, that such a big stage would not benefit such a slow character. True. But, but he has won here pretty much every single time he has gone here. Yeah. Like, even though he's slow and it's going to be hard like, in that kind of sense, I feel like it gives you more time to see like the approaches, kind of learn your opponent, know when to get your revenges. I don't know. Slowing down the pace is not a bad thing for that kind of read of a character, but it's just from sheer attributes, yeah, not the best. But yeah, the Blast Zones also help out with him. Might not be too good for Dark Samus, who isn't the fastest either. And we're seeing nice uses of the Zera there, just to kind of stop the momentum of Magister coming in. Yeah. Zenora's got a lot of just really big aerials, and it's kind of important to stop that. Also, nice interception. Yep. That's the weakness of Zenora right there. If you hit just the wrong way, it's done. It's over. And that was like the first time we've really seen someone just kind of go out and like, like Michigan is not super familiar with how to handle Incineroar. Yeah. But people have been respecting him super hardcore off stage just because the side B is so scary. The up B has armor. Yep. And most of the time Magister is recovering from high anyways. So he has all those options available. But Adavo placed that bomb accordingly and oh is able God. to clip him and keep him off stage. Adavo is the first that I'm seeing do this. And I think that's why he has had the upper hand this entire set. Down throw, still comboing upwards to 84%. Right. <laughs> Getting Samus off stage, just not combo just yet. This little back air, such a meaty move. That's it. Punish, Thank you for punishing it right there with that, with that yeah. uh, side B, because I think that would have grabbed the drop through too. Yeah. But like that instant shield right there, like it's so hard to just make sure you're punishing it super good, because you don't know which way she's going to land, you don't know where she's going to land. Oh I think that God, was just super smart on Magister's part. I want to say that Master also, or I'm sorry, that Edvo also really knows this matchup because, like, the moment that um, Master got the double stack revenge, a grab was right there and just ended it, no problem. Yeah. Nice use of the little tether right there. I guess that yeah. follows up. 
Sacking up the bomb with these percents. Ooh. Ooh, doesn't even get to punish. I feel like, you know, Master always needs to do side beat to punish that because then you don't have to worry about the, all the There dirt. it is. We had like we also just had like the instant uh, you know, revenge to try to stop those bombs and then like the immediate like grab that has followed. Like Magister needs to figure out something to do because he is just getting baited out into all of these options that are so terrible versus a character <laughs> like Samus. And Adva was taking such good advantage of that too. To the point where even though it was looking even game one, it has been more or less a runaway since. Yep. Hey, go to Yoshi go to Yoshi's story, huh, damn it. Hey, go back to Yoshi's story. Why Yoshi's story? Because it's pretty. Uh, agree to disagree. Go, go to Corneria. <laughs> All right, we're going the s'mores color of Dark Samus now. I like this one better. That's s'mores? It's a, a really good color. All of Dark Samus's colors are so good except for the pink one. Where are you one. getting yellow in your s'mores from? Have you ever like cooked a marshmallow and it has like have you ever heard of like golden brown like for marshmallows? That's bright yellow. Alright, well look at the look at the character portrait. Aww. There's like orange in the character portrait. Oh come on. Barely. That's not toasted marshmallow. But, but even so, then there's yellow in the visor. Well, whatever. You bring mustard on your s'mores? God no. You know, we saw an unfortunate XD a little bit earlier ago. And that reminds me about the fact that you keep arguing with me about what color s'mores are. It's also unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Not where I expected that to go. But it doesn't I, matter. I, I thought I had a follow up, and then I just I just didn't have the the creativity to come up with it on the fly. Yeah, you have to take it a little bit longer to figure something out. I'm not as big brained as Advo is. It's true. None of us are here. Not even Magister. Who has done a pretty good job keeping this convincingly in his favor, even from behind. Like. I don't think the SD is going to matter all that much. Like, obviously it does, but like I think it won't stop Advo from winning this game. Yeah, well, in the last two games, we're two stocks. So, I mean, yep. do you even need the stock? Let's be real. All right, playing really cheap and campy and just con <laughs> <laughs> just doing the projectile. No honor. And I like that, you know, Advo is making it so it's like, with all these charges, you're seeing Master starting to falter a little bit. And really he has to respect this charge shot way more than usual. Nice. And he's not playing so confident as he was at the start of the set because, oh wow, somebody at this Anime Con tournament has really challenged him now. Yeah. And that's the thing too, it's like, I know I know. traditionally the melee scene does not come out to Yumicon, you know, they got... Sometimes, they yeah. Got, they got to go to college or something. But the <laughs> ultimate, the ultimate scene... They come through. They come through. They come through super hard. And it was the same thing with Smash 4, too. Yep. And Brawl, we used to have, like, a big, like, out of staters and stuff. And we're not through also, all the time. Also, we were talking trash about how the SC would not matter a little bit earlier, but now a full stock behind. And Magister has been just catching, like, uh, out of those so well up in the air. Because like, it's it's just changed. He's been he's been focusing more on getting Samus up in the air and following up in that way. And we talked about that a little bit with Runes too, because that's where you want Samus to extend. And that is it. Taking another game, going to game five. I still feel confident for Advo though, because you know what? Like yes, he SD below fifty percent of stuff, but beyond that, Master still played like amazing. He really did. But I think that like. Because of that game going to Magister, while typically that would kind of give him more momentum, I'm sure Advo's just like, look, I SD'd, next time I won't. I'm confident. Yeah, and like we we watched the adaptation happen on that second game on Kalo. So yes. like, I don't know, I think, you know, this going to game five, this, this is going to be it. All right, switching Dark Time skins yet again. This time, uh, what, do you, what do you call this one? Um, looking like Sark Samus just crawled out of Shrek Swamp, but no, I don't have anything clever. But I'm focused on right now is the fact that this is going to game five, and we saw Adavo make some really good adjustments, even after getting dominated the last like three games that had come through. Mm -hmm. um, because even that first game he took was looking super desperate. So. I'm really... That's an SD. Oh, no, okay. Just barely made it. 
Oh my gosh, okay. So for a lot there in that first stock, I feel like that's some of the first time we've actually seen like Master successfully start to like ledge trap add with the ledge. Yeah. Like, usually it's almost always the other way around. Because I mean we watched him use that down tilt, the two frames, so many different players, but like yeah. that was like really the first time where it actually started to work. And the thing with Samus is is like as many options as she has, it's not only just the tether and the bombs and the up B. Yeah. Is her air mobility is kind of choppy. She's got the one fair that she can kind of use, but kind of has a massive space, you know, up above her, below her, mm -hmm. and you know, you can take advantage of that. Yeah. So it's I don't know. I, I want to see more people edge guarding Advo here because he's been getting back free yep. a lot. But despite that, you know, Advo is still making great use of tools on stage and got like a couple grabs in that stock. And I think it just reminds me that like we, I want to see more grabs from Advo because the fact that like you can bait out the revenge, which he's done a lot, like especially the two games they two stopped the matches, they're like bait out the Almost. revenge, get the tether grab on it, then the revenge doesn't even matter. So who cares? Absolutely. There we go. Oh, didn't get the punish. You saw how he was using those down tilts and backed off immediately after the first two, noting that that is when you know, an option would have to come out because the invincibility runs out. Yeah. And right then he fades back immediately to catch the roll on. And while he did miss the punish, he had the oh. best idea that he could have. Yeah. Right, little close quarters here. We're going to see a comes on top. It looks like Mash is not going to get him off stage. Go for that. Oh. That's an interesting exchange there, okay. I believe it comes like with invincibility in like a three time interval. Makes sense. So during like in between the second hit yep. and like before the second hit comes out is I think when it runs out. Before it refreshes. Great grab. Especially because like, Incineroar is such a grounded based character. There's a good chance that just nice the grab. it's gonna work sometimes. Oh absolutely. And that's like a thing though, is like against grapplers, grab. Grab against grapplers. They're looking for that shield anyway, so they can try to get that shield grab, yep. right? Though I would actually like to see a little bit more like attempts to get some grabs from uh, Magister himself, because I that know Adavo has been using shield not to, to kind of space more or less, and I understand how hard it is to get the grab on Samus. But the fact of the matter is like, oh, that was really good, waiting up that spot dodge. But like, yeah, the fact of the matter is like Samus has one option out of shield, like. She always has to find herself landing, coming down, and like yeah. while spot dodge is so good in this game, like you know your grab kills at like 120. Like and not to mention like even before that, like no matter what, you will always get good percentage out of it because the down throw forward is going to link up to like 90 percent. Oh or so. my gosh, going right in between the fair hit. <gasps> Covers the roll up, anyways. I like that holding down as he passed up through. Oh, spot. missed input right there. That could have been it. No jump. Waiting on the ledge, letting Advo have time to figure out something out. <gasps> the tether right that there. That could be it. Armor's oh, right through that. Oh my god. That's it. No. no. Oh my gosh, this recovery from I did not know Masters. he had the side B back. Yep, every wow. single time you do. Oh, the Darkest Larry at the cross up. <gasps> the back <laughs> This is so intense right now. This means so much. Ah. Oh. No way. Not okay. yet. Both characters are super cool percent. You know, Adva's going to be looking to try and space out here, trying oh. to get a charge blast while Master, you know, no. one side beat would have been it. That but was so greedy. Uh, great, great job by Adva there, keeping Michigan safe from Washington. Awesome adaptations. We saw two from Magister, bringing that to game five with what would look like a Pretty clean sweep from Advo. Yeah. Very respectable showing from both players. It's very back and forth throughout the entire set. Like, you know, first off, Master.